The way energy is produced, consumed, distributed around the world is undergoing fundamental changes. At least 15 million Indonesians cannot have the electricity services at the moment. This is the goal. Energy demand from the residential sector will grow as a average pace of 4.3% Every year until 2020, demand from the industrial sector will grow at 2.7% each year over the same period. It is now my privilege and pleasure to declare officially open the first Indonesian Energy Conference. The global energy landscape is changing, that is for sure. The global energy industry is facing the possibility of slowing demand growth, slowing supply, competition from renewables, carbon pricing, changing consumer preferences and new government policies. Only companies that can adapt will win. And the question is how does Indonesia become more attractive to capital and technology? And today I think a lot of people are in wait and watch mode. They aren't quite sure that the efforts go far enough. The government of Indonesia, it has to think globally. It cannot just be a local and then uh, we're trying to push the investor and to invest in Indonesia. Well, we never consider the global competitiveness. It's expected that uh, Indonesia's oil production will be half of today's levels. Struggling to stay above 400,000 barrels a day. And so that's, that's certainly very concerning. If we want to boost the production, there's only two things that we can do. First, optimize the existing assets. All of the, most of the assets in Indonesia is mostly mature, except maybe uh, Cepu that but then has. Uh, second is new discovery from the exploration. We still have a healthy reserve uh, in terms of natural gas for future production. However, it is, I would like to highlight the lack of uh, infrastructural availability that will be a key challenge for Indonesia to overcome if we were to optimize the use of natural gas in the energy mix. Now, natural gas is not only seen as a revenue generator, but a prime mover economy. It's a, a supply-driven market. So e even though uh, you, you don't see a lot of uh, demand yet, as soon as you make the gas available at a competitive price, you could easily see demand go up by 20-30%. The biggest problem with renewable, in my opinion, is that it will never be uh, the base load of any electricity generation as long as it's intermittent. When we look into diversifying Indonesia's energy mix, it's no longer a choice, but rather something that we have to achieve and something that we have to move towards. We see some positive side from the government. We see the, the government's efforts to streamline the business process. We've seen the uh, robust action in combating the, the, the illegal practices of mining and we see now the progress of the, uh, we, we call it the CNC IUP, yeah? now it's, uh, it's uh, moving forward and uh, we expect that in the future more and more you know, uh, proper players will be in the field. Of course, it has to be supported by consistency and also the regulation because investing in smelter is 25-30 uh, years. One message uh, that uh the government would love to see in the coming years is that uh, this energy sector should be very efficient because this is the foundations of many sectors that uh, we are trying at least to pursue. The bottom line is how do we uh, attract the investor to come, monetize our resources because we need to improve our reserve replacement ratio, stay with the competitive 
way of uh, doing business and improve of the ease of doing business index. So if we could combine, you know, between those two, three, four, five, five factors into one and uh, us as a policy makers together with the government and provide with such a regulation that could uh, leverage our uh, industry, I think that's, that's our aim, our goals, you know. In the, in the future. Now is an opportunity and a need for the industry to significantly reshape how it works, becoming more streamlined and more efficient through digitization, simplification and standardization. Uh, I'm a strong believer actually you know, for the future of Indonesia. If we can work together because of the communications between the uh, policy makers and the industries need to be improved. Then we have to channel that all the demand, all the things that we think there is a difficulties in order to find a solutions. I do believe if with the open government and also the understanding of the industry with all the uh, things happening in the country, I, I do believe that we can find a solution in the future.